admit. Yeah. So this is being recorded. Yeah. Excellent. This is being recorded. And now uh, who have some um, one is Princey Pandir, another is the Veno. Some more people will have to come. Yeah. So, Princey Pandir, uh, what is it you have? Good, good, good evening. What is it you have studied uh, since our meeting last? Uh, what so you have yes, sir. Uh, so you have discussed uh, in mock interviews uh, the general information about the federal bank and uh, the components of balance sheet. I have studied uh, some financial figures of federal bank recently and uh, I have studied about the functions of RBI, which you have discussed uh, yesterday. Acha. So you, you discussed about functions of RBI. That's one minute. I am just collecting the material. I have to go to that uh, our tiny URL. Yeah, I will go into that one. Yeah, and I will ask there. Uh, Princey Pandir, can you tell general question, why should we select you? Can you answer this question? Why should we give preference for you? That is the question. Yeah. Uh, sir, uh, I would like to uh, say, say this, that the for, uh, for the qualities of professional officer, you need a a very responsible person and a loyal one since we can say the banking is a, a very responsible uh, it's, a, it's a work of very responsible responsibility and since my brother is also in the federal bank as an associate he also told me the rules and regulations of the federal bank and the policies and code of conduct and uh, since i have been in the army family i know that what loyalty and uh, what the discipline is so that's what i ha i had the qualities second uh, I have been uh, in uh, voluntarily. I have been in very leaders uh, in leading the groups. Uh, I have been in the CR of my uh, classes for, throughout the graduation, post graduation as well. And voluntarily, I, I take part in activities uh, like uh, coordinating the functions and uh, coordinating mm -hmm. the events as well. So I I voluntarily took work and work I completed on on time before uh, before the deadlines. So I, I could complete my projects before the deadline. So I, that's why I, I think that I'm the capable for this job. Everything was OK, except in one place you said leadering. There is no yes, such sir. word as leadering, leading. I was I am leading. OK, sir. Okay. I am leading. That is the only mistake I found in whatever you were telling. Very good. Next is Venu. Venu, what is your degree? Sir, I have done MSc in physics. Achha, MSc in physics. Good. Now, what is the CGPA scored in MSc? 7.69 CGP. 7.69. Good. Now, uh, can you tell me some of the famous physics concepts you are remembering? Uh, uh, in basics, uh, there is uh, Newton's laws of motion, laws mm. of thermodynamics. Mm. Uh, then uh, uh, conservation of mass, conservation mm. of energy, mm. uh, and uh, there are a few uh, equations of motions mm. and some differential equations. Good. Good, good. Excellent. Now, sure, we will go for banking questions. Um, now, can you tell me uh, the role of a bank in respect of reserve bank in respect of foreign exchange management in what way are they taking care of the interests of our country foreign exchange management 
that is one of the important functions of our reserve bank so what they do uh, how they are ensuring the interest of the bank so can you tell uh, me as yeah. as much as i know uh, uh, for people who are going abroad they had to uh, get the currency their currency exchanged for them mm. to get their expenditures done in abroad so mm. they usually go to the branches for mm. those branches who are actually uh, dealing with the forex exchange and they uh, they actually um, make some charges over that the uh, amount that they are giving to the mm. uh, customer they charge over that and uh, for this service particularly for this service and mm. through that the bankings are getting the interests that they require for forex as as far as i know sir see actually for this question the answer will be reserve bank is delegating its foreign exchange management to authorized dealers that is the banks who authorized branches through them foreign exchange business is done and under the liberalized exchange rate management system the reserve bank of india has given powers to the commercial banks to sell foreign exchange to people buy foreign exchange from people up to certain limits approved and in turn send our return to reserve bank of india who is maintaining the books namely to know how much of foreign exchange reserves we have using that they try to stabilize the economy by not allowing rupee to go below some value but even then recently it has happened the rupee has gone below 84 rupees value per dollar so by maintaining foreign exchange reserves a reserve bank is trying to maintain the value of rupee exchange value of rupee in relation to us dollar and other currencies so that is a very important point good now uh, ag has answered pp has answered then yes you what is your name please yes mr yes what is your name yes you yes you what is your name can you answer a question please unmute yourself and speak please unmute yourself and speak i think he doesn't know then who can answer please raise your hand those who can answer questions please raise your hand i have already asked ag pp and others others please ask raise your hand no no so now what i will do here i will go here then first i i will ask a question regarding what is present crr what is present crr rate uh, who can answer this please raise your hand talk about four, crr four point four point excuse me 4.5 percent 4.5 percent of what of total ndtl yeah of and yeah. of total 4.5% of ndtl ndtl means what net demand uh, sorry, uh, the net demand transaction liabilities or something like that. net demand and time liabilities time net liabilities. demand and time liabilities time very good now these two people have raised hand now arvind has raised hand now uh, arvind to repeat the question what was the question previously the question, the question was um what 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 is the present crr cash reserve ratio crr okay cash okay, reserve okay, ratio you, it is 4.5% of ndtl good now this boy has raised hand arvind arvind you are from uh, bengaluru sir. you are from bengaluru which place ha uh, yes sir Kar karnataka in uh, davanagiri district in karnataka sir davanagiri district in karnataka what is the degree you have studied 
bachelor of science in agriculture sir very good he has joined only no no but you should not tell bachelor you should tell okay, master sir. of science because okay. this this recruitment is only for post graduates so you should tell the okay, okay. highest degree you have done please tell me what is the degree you have done post graduate okay, degree i come i completed post graduation in plant pathology sir mm -hmm. from the university dr rajendra prasad central agriculture university pusa bihar yes joined just 15 minutes earlier in our group only just now ah, you sir. have joined now please why have you come so late what have you been doing all these days were you not aware of the coaching that is being given by us doesn't matter uh, what is your father tell me my father is a, a horticulturist sir where we oh. grow uh, are, mm. areca nut in our farm very good very good what is the life duration of an areca nut tree normally normally it ranges up to 40 years sir acha 35 to 40 years mm -hmm. from which year it will give us areca nuts for Arekan. selling Actually, after after planting it uh, from th th three year onwards they start giving yield but to get economic yield it will take around 5 to 6 years in a local variety a local variety but there are some tissue cultured varieties which will give economic yield from th three years itself excellent now please tell me who is the finance minister of uh, uh, karnataka chief minister is a uh, ala finance minister is uh, our cm is only our uh, finance minister sir acha that is what is, uh, his, name? What is his name what is his name dr siddaramayya ji sir very good excellent who is your agriculture minister uh, see chalo raya swami sir acha good now what have you studied about federal bank so can you tell me what was the total business of federal bank as on 30th june how many lakh crores uh, sorry sir i am not uh, i am unaware of that i will uh, now no, no, somebody no, else can answer princey yes, please tell princey tell sir it's 4.86 lakh crores and to, like in, uh, after you have uh, shared the information it's 4.87 lakh crores yeah i i altered it as 87 yeah that is true now how much is the deposits total deposits as on whatever we are now speaking is as on 30th june now what was the total deposit as on 30th june excuse me princey you are not able to hear me okay so you asking me okay i'm so sorry sir i'm not able to recall that value sir 2.2 How much is that? Two point six six lakh crore. Correct. Six six or six seven lakh crore. That's what you have to tell. Thank you, sir. And and another one loans is two point two zero lakh crore. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. So Now after total deposit. The total deposit is two point. Uh, she told na two six lakh crore. Okay. Now. Two point six six. Sir. Two, sorry, two point six six lakh crore. Correct, correct. Two point six six lakh crore, and advances is two point two zero lakh crore. But this figure is likely to change now, because um, be, before you are going for interview, we will get the uh, third quarter results of our federal bank. Okay. Very good. now um next who can answer the next question they are asking question very simple questions like this it has to be answered properly for example who is a nominee so basically a nominee is a person who uh, suppose if we die or something happens to us they will be taking over our fund <laughs> it's okay but then you can tell it in a different way 
See, a depositor, when he opens a deposit account, mentions the name of a person to whom the money will be paid in the event of his death. What I told is also similar to what you told, but you told if we open, if we die, instead of that, you should tell from third party's angle. Okay. Okay. I yes. hope you understand. Yeah. Uh, very good. Next question. I will go to this one. Nominee, we have discussed. Now, um, what do you understand by, um, say, universal banking what is meant by universal banking what is meant by universal banking can you name three banks which are doing universal banking yes please please tell what happened why nobody is answering um, what about this SK, Shweta Kandalwal? Can you tell me what is universal banking? Shweta Kandalwal. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, uh, basically, maybe the banks which uh, serves all over the world are universal banking. Like, mm -hmm. don't know. No, actually, I, um, you should not use the word maybe, can be, okay. and all in interviews. We should tell. Universal banks Can are I those banks. Yeah, please tell. Uh, so banks which perform all functions like investment banking, commercial banking, etc. are called universal banks, if I'm not wrong. You're right, but you can tell it differently. Banks okay. which are doing other than normal banking functions, such as deposit and advances, they also do other functions like para banking facilities, like uh, in, uh, insurance policy canvassing, mutual fund fund uh, canvassing, then wealth management advisory services, and uh, say the uh, collecting of say uh, government uh, transactions or banks which do all types of transactions are known as universal banks. The name okay, of universal have to highlight, yes, sir. The name of universal banks are for State Bank of India, Punjab National Bank, all the 12 public sector banks, including our this thing, Federal Bank. Federal Bank is also a universal bank. They also do non-resident business. Then they also do loans. They give digital bank products. Then they give various deposit of accounts. They give DMAT accounts. Everything is being done by the uh, federal bank. So it is called what? It is called universal bank. I hope you understand that. Is it okay? Yeah. Sir, uh, one more question I have to ask. Like how to answer, uh, like currently I'm working in investment banking bank. So how to answer that why you are shifting your career to the investment bank uh, to a general banking? Because the investment bank is not the, the job. The career prospects for rise in career is not good in the investment bank, whereas the chances of, um, of a career path improvement is high in bank like federal bank. And that is why I am shifting. The actual reason is you are shifting because the salary offered there is low. Now, here the salary offered is quite good. So that but is the they can ask me like at an initial stage of your career, you can't see, uh, look up the monetary benefits. But no, no. I'll explain in such a way that uh, I'm looking for the monetary benefits at an initial stage of my career. No, uh, that's why I'm that choosing way. this. No, no, no. Okay. Actually, instead of telling that hmm. openly, you can say the um, my career prospects are good in federal bank as an officer. I hope to become a manager after five years. So that mm -hmm. is why I want to come to Federal Bank. You understand? Yeah, I do understand this. And uh, it is all the confidence with which you speak. That is what is more important. Instead okay. of uh, that, that is what is very important. You should tell, you should believe in what you are telling. Okay. You must believe in what you are telling. Mm -hmm. Understand? Yeah. 
and so Very. one more thing like uh, usually this quiz session uh, takes around like 4:30 pm on a daily basis no, no, or no, this no, is no, no. specific today difference. only okay. today only i have arranged this is a special okay. session actually there i was mm -hmm. i am supposed to go for a yoga class that class has been cancelled so i am arranging for this otherwise normally at this time in saturday on sundays i will not mm -hmm. be here i will come only by 8 o'clock today special session and i thought like sir, i am not aware about the timings of the classes actually i, I do giving, i am actually on the i, okay. I am mm -hmm. giving everything in our whatsapp group you must follow whatsapp group that's all okay. you are not seeing what i am giving in whatsapp group so that is why the problem comes you must go through whatsapp group and check whatever i am mentioning there you should try to follow Okay, what is okay. your name? Nishi. Nishi is from which place? So currently, I'm living here in Gurgaon, uh, Delhi. Delhi, Delhi. Good. What is the degree you studied? Sir, I studied MBA Finance. Acha, you had your first mock interview with me? No. No, not yet. Your date is not known. No. Date is not known. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So you are working in which investment bank? So currently, I'm working in SBI Investment Bank Company. Acha acha, SBI Investment Bank Company. No 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 no, SEI. That's an US U US bank. Acha. Oh ho. What is the nature of work you do? So currently, uh, I am working in the asset management data services. So basically, I do work on a Bloomberg platform. Mm hmm. What is asset management? Like asset management is like there are myriad types of securities like mutual funds, munis, derivatives, futures. So basically, these kinds of a securities we have to upload on a SCI investment bank portal. So there are the multiple option and there are the multiple investors over the portfolio, and we used to get the, those data after analyzing, after cal calculating NAVs and uh, uh, their portfolio. So this is the majorly the work I am doing right now. It's it's just so, a topical work of operations. What is the like name of the bank corresponding with the Reserve Bank of India in America? What is the name of the bank corresponding with our Federal Federal Reserve Bank? Who is the chairman of or president of that? I actually am not aware the name of the president. We have to uh, but check up. Yeah, we have to we I, have I to check up it. one one minute. Um, we can just check it here. Mm -hmm. Federal. Anybody knows? Federal Reserve Bank President or Chairman? I don't know. President Federal Jerome, Reserve Bank. Jerome H. Powell. Acha Powell. Yeah. Who is the head of Federal? Jerome H. Powell. Correct. Okay. What he told is correct. Jerome H. Powell. Acha, who is the governor in Reserve Bank of India? Shakti Kantadas. Ah, good. Can you tell the names of five people who were governors of Reserve Bank of India? I five, used to remember, but right now I'm not recalling yet. Five governors of Reserve Bank of India. Five governors. One was uh, there was one uh, Mr. Raghuram Rajan. Correct. Then I am telling you some uh, names here. Please note uh, down. David Subarao. Please note David down. Urjit, please note down. Urjit Patel. Raghuram Rajan. Then D. Subarao. Shakti Kanta Das. There are all, all the entire list is here, but we need the latest five. If we speak, it will be good. Okay. Uh, yeah. Any other name? Ah, even Dr. Manmogan Singh name you can tell. Then Arashiman name also we can tell. These five names will do. Then tell me the names of. Four deputy governors of Reserve Bank of India at present. 
after raghuram shakti kanta manmohan singh there was two names the subha so, rao michael d patra no 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 Sorry? no no what he, he i you have jumped the question i was discussing about governors where i told you d subha rao raghuram oh. rajan urjit patel shakti kanta das dr manmohan singh then mr um, uh, say earlier what are the other names first names why it is not hey, pardon okay got it sir yeah yeah list of governors here it is coming first governor what is the name of the first governor of reserve bank of india mr osborn smith please note down o s b o r n e osborn smith and mr dr manmohan singh was the 15th governor and he also served as prime minister of india prime minister of india and you can also tell the name of mr m narasimham why narasimham's name is famous not only because he was the governor of reserve bank of india but because he is the author of the narasimham committee report based on which various reforms are being carried out in our country narasimham committee then that will do five names i have already told you sufficient now we are discussing the next question who are the deputy governors at present who can answer this um, somebody shil yeah please tell sir yes. m rajeshwar mr m rajeshwar rao correct uh, swami nath mr swami nathan j janaki ram mr t swami nathan janaki ram correct Mm. Uh, Mr. T. Ravi Sankar, correct. And Mr. Dr. M. D. Patro, Patra. Michael Mr. D. Patro. Michael D. Patro, very good. Ah, uh, Michael D. Patro, good, good. That will do. Now, next is we will go for next question. Can you name a few deposit products of Federal Bank? can you name a few deposit products of federal bank in fact uh, um, i think i have been telling you when they ask deposit products simply you can tell the savings bank current account then fixed deposit and also what is the other one recurring deposit but apart from that uh, if you can remember the names of three or four SB accounts and all, it will go well. <laughs> Who has studied about that? Can you tell me? Yes, please. Federal Bank. Please tell. Why nobody is opening the mouth? The uh, names of Celestial Imperio, sir. Pardon. Celest Celestia Imperio. Uh, and uh, okay. Celesta, Imperial, and Signet. Hmm. Good. Likewise, tell me. So, so it's this, the, these things, Signet. yeah, these things, you have to go through the website of our federal bank. See. So I have a question. Um, yeah, tell me. So there was a card named Scapia in federal bank. It was huh? it was stopped. Why? Achha. I want to know the reason. That my, my my brother told me about that there was a card named Scapia and it was uh, it it was banned afterwards. Achha. I don't know. I don't. I I I have no reason. I have I have no. I don't know the reason. But such intricate questions they will not ask. They will ask you questions about information that is present in the website. whatever has been told to people openly those details only they will be asked <laughs> understand so what is the rating of our federal bank long term fixed deposit nowadays what is the rating crystal rating 
that shows the stable rating so uh, that is what you have to tell and what is Now, the highest rating that uh, a bank can get in that crystal this rating? is this is the highest triple a triple a is, is the, the highest. highest which means absolute assurance always yeah absolute assurance that is you need not fear about the um dep deposits you will be certainly given see in sometimes when i open the a 2023 i am getting old figures so whereas you must be ready with the current figures that is um, quarter one figures only that is what is available here uh, we have already discussed uh, what was the quarterly net profit for federal bank as on 30th june 2024 how many crores 1009.53 uh, crores sir excellent 1009.53 crore this is there in the first or second page of the material given to you then what is the rate roa for quarter 4 1.27 percentage 27 correct What is ROA? Can any commerce graduate explain to me what is a return okay. on asset? Please tell any commerce graduate. You can tell me what is the return on asset that investment bank girl. You please try investment bank girl. What your degree is? What something else? Hello. why nobody is answering a return on asset is what is the total asset value of the bank and it, compare it with the profit earned profit earned that is return on asset similarly a return on equity is what is the equity capital what is the return compare the profit earned with the uh, what is that um equity we have that is known as a return on equity could you follow now yeah now i will come to this figure what is the gnpa nnpa percentage for federal bank now the 2.11% and uh, nnpa is 0.60% what is your name please uh, sir achyut venugopal very good achyut venugopal what is your degree Sir, MSc in Physics. Very good. Can you explain what is GNPA percentage? How it is arrived? Sir, uh, uh, it is the gross. It's called the gross, uh, uh, not net perform, uh, non-performing asset, hmm. uh, and it is uh, gained by uh, taking the uh, total amount of NPAs, uh, hmm. and then we minus the dividends from it. 
no sorry wrong 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 totally confusing totally wrong answer gross npa means npa that has become total amount that has become npa divided by total advances into 100 is known as gross npa percentage it means that federal bank has if it has got 100 crore um, advances out of that 2.11 crore has become gross npa could you follow same way yes sir yes the next concept you should remember is that banks have to provide for the funds provide means debit the money from the current quarter uh, income and uh, that is known as provisions that is normally when an account becomes npa if it is a secured one 15% will be provided that is 100 crores has become npa we have to debit our expenditure with 15 crores if 100 crores has become npa and all that is unsecured we have to provide debit expenditure with 25 crores so now after subtracting the provisions made what is the npa figure we are getting that is known as net npa that net npa figure divided by total advances into 100 is known as net npa percentage and that is only 0.60 0.60 that means if 100 crore is the advance of our federal bank the uh, net npa is only 0.60 crore i hope you follow this yeah very good next one um what is the share price of federal bank recent price sir 185 acha rupees good so what is the market 190 ho gaya nahi 187 sir it was 187 before it was 187 190. yeah it was 190 now i think it has come down to 187 let me check up here 187.5 sir acha you have checked it up very good can you check up no, also acha acha 187.5 very good very good then uh, what is the market capitalization the uh, 465 yeah 400 something because for 185 it was 455 billion so now this will be more somewhere around 470 billion or so good very good these answers you are told nicely now um, who is our md and ceo sir kv subramanian kvs manian kvs manian yeah yeah in my previous one it is not altered i don't know why it some because it is still having sham srinivasan it is wrong current at present it is only kvs manian and uh, how many happy customers sir 1.86 crore a uh, so 1.85 crore. crore or 1.86 crore 85 crore is correct how many bank branches are there banking outlets 1533 sir 533 yeah then how many atms are there 1451 i think i have given everything in our group uh, two times i gave those details uh, you can also see that good now please tell me what is the present repo rate 6.5 now any commerce Five. graduate is there any commerce graduate is there mba graduate is there anybody yes. commerce graduate mba yeah you are there yes, very good please tell me how reserve bank is managing inflation rate by using the repo rate how they are managing how they see that inflation doesn't go very high what are the how they manage this repo rate 
we use this repo rate and uh, manage the inflation. Sir, when this the a, inflation gets gets out uh, of control, uh, then they increase the repo rate. When the inflation is under control, then they decrease the repo rate so that the interest rate also comes down and uh, uh, the money uh, money flow will be eased then into the market. Then more money will be into the market. So the when the inflation is down, then they ease the uh, interest rate and more money will flow into the market. No, don't mix up these two. So can, Except can tell I... only one. Tell only one aspect. I was asking how they are managing inflation. You can tell about a stage where the inflation is rising, how they manage. If you tell that, that is sufficient. And when, when, after completing it, you are talking so fast, it, it is not understandable. So you should tell the next one slowly. Understand? And now, um, before that, you have omitted one important point. You have not told about the preferred inflation rate. What is the preferred inflation rate? Plus minus 2, 2 to 6%. Point five, five. 4 percent plus or minus 2. That is the yes. definition. 2 to 6 percent. No, no. We cannot say 2 to 6. 4 percent plus or minus 2. Both are same. But that is what is given in our RBI website. So it is, okay. of course, you can say it is 2 to 6 percent. So you, can, you have to say when the inflation rate goes above 6 percent, RBI will raise the repo rate. And when the inflation rate comes below 2%, RBI will increase the repo rate. This alone will not do. You have to tell when the first instance, when the inflation rate is above 6%, when RBI raises the in, uh, repo rate, the correspondingly, the interest rate charged by banks on their loans will increase. So the borrowings by the customers will come down. So the money in circulation also will come down and it will reduce the inflation. That is how you have to explain. On the other hand, where the inflation is below 2% and Reserve Bank wants to raise it, then when it raises it, sorry, when it reduces the uh, repo rate, the interest rate will come down, so the borrowings by the borrowers will be more, money in circulation will improve, and it will increase the money supply, so the inflation will slightly go up. This, but if you tell about increase and managing, that will do. If they want to tease you only, they will ask you, can you tell me how they will manage when the inflation goes down, because there is no chance for asking such a question in our in the present day, where there is no question of it coming down at all. Okay, good. Next question. Um, what is expand SDF? What is SDF? Standing deposit facility. Yeah, what is the interest rate now? 6.25. 6.25%. sure. Standing deposit facility means when banks have got surplus funds, they, I mean, this is a scheme adopted for reducing the inflation. When the uh, money in circulation is more, banks are left with surplus mm -hmm. funds, Banks will be asked to deposit their surplus with Reserve Bank of India, and Reserve Bank of India will give 6.25% interest. But nowadays, it is not relevant because the money in supply is very less in the hands of banks. That is why many banks are coming out with novel schemes like for 400 days deposit, uh, five, 300 days deposit. They want to are offering higher interest rate. So that question doesn't arise. Good. Now, this question they do ask. SLR, what is SLR? Everybody knows. Statutory liquidity. Statute. 
Yeah, standard sure. liquidity ratio. And everybody knows also what is the interest rate, what is the rate? It is how much? 18%. Now, 18%. Yeah. That 18%, what is the form in which banks will have to keep? Cash, gold, government securities. They can keep it in securities, cash government, government securities. securities, gold or cash. Correct. Somebody has told correctly, it can be maintained in the form of cash or gold or government security. Super. Good answer. You answered it nicely. I am happy. Yeah. Um, what is the difference between... First of all, tell me what is CASA? Current account savings account. Current account and savings account. Correct. First, tell me what is the difference between current account and savings account? In current account, you don't get any mainly interest. used by the business business persons huh? who hmm. have uh, daily transactions, uh, higher, hmm. higher daily transactions, and savings accounts are used by uh, normal retail people. Normal retail people, nah? Nah, say uh, savings account is normally maintained by individuals who are employed uh, or uh, for their saving purposes. You can tell that ah, point. Second, second difference is. So may I add a point? Interest Pardon, is yeah. but the current account it, does not provide any interest. Ah, current account will not pay any interest. Bank will not pay any interest. Uh, savings account, so three percent. There is what is the another? So difference? there is no. Uh, so there is no limit in the transaction of the current account where whether there is a limit in savings account. Yeah, in the case of savings account, there is restriction 50 withdrawals per half year. And when it exceeds 50 withdrawals per half year, a uh, bank will charge levy charges. Bank will levy charges. That is the thing. That doesn't mean they will refuse the transactions. But they will allow it, but they will levy charges also. Do you follow? Yeah. So yes, I think these three points will do for us. The three points must be do will be sufficient for us. Now, um, in the case of this is a very favorite question. What is the difference between State Bank of India and Federal Bank? What is the difference between state, 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 public sector so one is a public, public sector, sector bank and another bank. is a private sector? Yeah, immediately they will ask what is a private sector, sorry, public sector bank? In public sector banks, majority so of the state is 50% of government. shares. Uh, that's, that's called as a government sector, public sector. Correct. Public. Where the government holds 51% and above shares, such a bank is known as um public, public sector. sector bank can you name a public sector bank wherein government is holding highest number of shares there are State so bank many numbers yes. no no india bank holds bank. 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 No, no. Bank? no no in our punjab and sindh bank more than 98% 99% is still with the government only because that was a bank which was having problem in, say, uh, it was not having more profit and all losses were more. So still more shares are with Punjab and Sindh Bank. Now, the State Bank of India government has only 57% or so, not much. They have reduced it because State Bank of India is making profit and they are able to sell it for Higher price. That is the reason. Okay. Good. Now, can this question is also favorite question of our uh, federal bank people when you when the candidate is science or engineering. Please tell the name of six public sector banks. I don't know why. What is the sanctity of this six? But they normally are six. So can I tell? Sir? I? Yeah. Tell hmm. me. Uh, so, mm -hmm. SDFC SBI, Bank, yeah. mm -hmm. Axis Bank, uh, uh, and uh, wrong. Uh, Who said Axis Bank? So totally sector. wrong. Axis public Bank sector. is a so private I, sector bank. The Union Bank of India, so, Canada SBI, Bank, Union Bank, Indian Bank, Indian Bank, Indian Bank, Indian Bank, 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 Bank,
so you must be thorough with that and uh, here only i wanted you people to tell me if you know the names of chairman it will be good i know in state bank of india mr what is shetty c l uh, shetty then i know indian bank shantilal jain i know union bank mrs mani mekalai these three only i am remembering uh, can you tell about other banks bank of maharashtra anybody from maharashtra you can tell bank of maharashtra who is the who is the so, mdn bank sri nivasulu shetty sir that is correct sri nivasulu shetty that i know i told you then other banks sometimes if they want to tease sir, you they baroda hasmuk hasmuk adia acha very good bank of baroda hasmuk adia then then uh, bank of india some one rajnish na who is that bank of india bank of india sir punjab national bank atal kumar goel ah, that is correct that is correct and he is incidentally the chairman of indian banks association which is the representative body of the management of banks managements of banks and they are the people uh, discussing for wage increase with the employees union and the officers association what is that settlement called what is that settlement this hr question for hr people this question will be asked what is the settlement called between the employees union and the management bipartite settlement bipartite settlement the latest settlement was done with effect from 1st november 2022 1st november 2022 it was done now next revision will be 1st november 2027 good this question is often asked in interviews how do you imagine yourself 5 years from now i want two people to answer this how I do mean, you I... ima- yeah tell me uh, 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 after 5 years i see myself as a leading bra- branch manager of federal bank how do you imagine yourself to become my branch manager uh, sir as uh, as through my perseverance and uh, uh, confidence that i have within me and with hard work no no but you should say i i would i will reach the targets i will be eligible for promotion and i will get promoted okay okay and if they ask for 10 years they will not they ask for 10 years you have to say senior manager okay okay sir. please tell i will i become senior manager the higher i will become, I the, will become a senior manager after 10 years of federal bank yeah Working senior federal bank senior 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 manager yeah first row first is sub staff second clerk third is officer you are joining as officer then after confirmation you become assistant manager then you become manager then next is senior manager above that associate vice president assistant vice president deputy vice president vice president md and ceo chairman and board of directors that is the hierarchy of our uh, federal bank and i don't know they are very fond of this question the names of five states and five chief ministers five states may i sir and, may i answer this yeah. question may i sir may i may i sir yeah everybody can answer but come with different states <laughs> yeah p and so first of all uh, yeah, I, i would minute. like to sir i'll go with uh, first p n who is that pn here pn prakash s nayar yeah sir uttar pradesh yogi adityanath okay and sir uh, uh, punjab bhagwant man okay kerala pinrai vijayan correct 
तमिलनाडु एम के स्टालिन करेक्ट वन गोवा प्रमोद सावंत बस सफिशियंट नाउ पीपी यू टेल सम फाइव अदर नेम्स ओके सर फर्स्ट इज असम दैट इज हिमांता बिश्वा शर्मा सेकंड इज दिल्ली व्हिच इज सर आई डोंट रिमेंबर हर नेम प्रॉपर्ली अतिशी मारगे अतिशी अतिशी but even then Atishi, we should Atishi. even then we should not tell delhi because delhi is a union territory okay sir okay okay uh, sir then, Mahar- maharashtra is a- eknath shinde for hmm. gujarat is bhupender patel and hmm. uh, for uh, for uttarakhand is pushkar singh dhami hmm. uh, and uh, for himachal is sukhvinder singh sukhu if i'm not wrong yes correct yeah. na then somebody else can try another five states There are twenty-eight states. Karnataka. Ah, Karnataka. Siddaramaiya. Ah, uh, hmm. Uh, Arvind, correct. Telangana. Tell Arvind. Siddaramaiya. Uh, Telangana. Telangana. Raven Reddy. Correct. Then. Come on. Uh, okay. Andhra Pradesh and Chandra Babu Naidu. Me. Correct. Sabhi Andhra Pradesh. Chandra Babu. Sabhi Har. Wait, 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 wait. We will. We will cover all the twenty-eight. Yeah. राजस्थान भजन लाल शर्मा सर या मध्य प्रदेश मोहन मोहन यादव वेरी गुड नाउ समबडी एल्स सेड ट्राई फाइव अदर स्टेट्स फाइव अदर स्टेट्स प्रेम अखंड सर व्हिच स्टेट अरुणाचल प्रदेश प्रेम अखंड अच्छा अच्छा अरुणाचल प्रदेश वेरी गुड सो दिस आर सर मणिपुर मणिपुर बिरेंद्र सिंह अच्छा वेरी गुड वेस्ट बंगाल ममता बनर्जी Ah, and we Bihar. have forgotten her. Very good. Then, and Bihar is Nitish Kumar. Oh, Bihar is Nitish okay. Kumar. Famous. Correct. Kashmir. I think Omar Abdullah will become the. Now we can tell that. And who is going to be chief minister in Haryana? Somebody knows. Some new person has been selected. Na, no? you don't know. I think Nayib Singh Saini will retain. Huh? Nayib Singh Saini. Naib Singh Saini. Naib Singh Saini will be retained. Uh, Naib Singh Saini. Yeah. When I see Naib, him, he... Lal Dahuma from Mizoram, sir. Yeah. Lal Dahuma from Mizor. Mizoram. Yeah. Now, any other Lal states? Om- uh, in between, we have omitted. Uh, Odisha, we have omitted. Who is Odisha Chief Minister? Anybody from Odisha? I see. What happened? previously mohan charan be... manji no no is it... correct 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 manji some manji and some manji Naga... some manji is a union minister what is he there is one more manji he is a union minister jitan ram manji jitan ram manji from bihar ah uh, union minister for what that msme is... sir is it yeah. msme good very good now commerce graduates mba graduates please tell me what is the definition of micro industry sir micro whose, uh, whose capital uh, whose total capital is uh, under 10000 crores wrong lakh. wrong wrong micro industry is one where the investment in plant and machinery is less than 1 crore and turnover turnover means sales less than 5 crore in a year the small industry is one where the investment don't tell capital you have to say investment investment in plant and machinery is less than 10 crore and turnover 50 crore 50 the next one micro small medium medium means investment in plant and machinery less than 50 crore 50 crore turnover less than 250 crore good anybody from andhra anybody from andhra here in this group nobody andhra telangana nobody andhra telangana is not active yeah um, uh, from kerala anybody is there kerala kerala yes sir yes sir yeah 
what is the name of the actor who has acted in that waita and yesterday i went there he is a comedian Fas- and uh, Fas- what is his Fas- name fasil correct fasil fahad fasil fahad fasil yeah he, he is acting very well fahad fasil yeah, yeah good good he is not waita a comedian sir comedian only but he is not but he is no he can he is not any he, roles acha acha he can play any role but i took him to be yeah. a comedy in there in that movie oh, no, no, he was sorry. acting very well vetayan the good movie oh, yeah. yes. nice good now next question is um, yeah any other doubts so states we have covered that is sufficient now um, we should go for next question uh, they can ask you the name of the important dignitaries in our neighboring countries sri lanka who is the president now there was a change that is why i am asking allo otherwise i will not ask sri lanka new president na somebody has taken charge recently disa naik pardon what is his name disa disa naik anita disa naik Anura Kumar Disanayake. Anura Anura Kumar Disanayake. D-I-S-S-A-N-A-Y-A-K-E. Nayake. Disanayake. Anura Kumar A.K. Disanayake. You can say like that. Similarly, who is in charge in Bangladesh now? Mohamed Yunus. Mohamed Yunus. Good. Very good. then who is in charge in nepal nepal kp sharma oli padan padan kp oli kp sharma oli oh very good very good then who is um, in bhutan bhutan king na bhutan who is in charge of bhutan bhutan that this question will come mainly for candidates from uh, north india especially kolkata then bihar uttar pradesh for them it can come bhutan king bhutan jigme kasar wangchuk jigme j k n wangchuk then we may not know about myanmar myanmar what is happening is there any government Sir, i think only military, military junta is still ruling military military only is there what about our china xi jinping xi what xi jinping xi xi jinping acha oh, i have not heard this china no, sir, yes, prime minister for long china prime xi minister Jinping. or acha one minute china prime minister i am i am not getting the spelling of that name. chinese premier xi jinping Hmm. X I Jing Ping. Oh. Anyhow, you please get to know that that will do. Then, any other country is nearby as Pakistan. Who is the prime minister? Shahbaz Azim. Shahbaz Sharif. Shahbaz Sharif. Sorry, sorry. Shahbaz Azim. Shahbaz Sharif. Very good. That much will do. Afghanistan and all we don't need that much. We can subject. prepare sir afghanistan is there na yeah yeah only taliban <laughs> yes yes <laughs> so there is no point in talking about it the mm. politics pardon maldives who is in charge muizu mohammad mohammad muizu muizu mohammad muizu yeah we should know because there was some fight and all and somebody some minister in respect of foreign was a uh, dismissed from there because he was telling against our country and all now i will come to this simple questions sebi where is the headquarters mumbai so it is mumbai, in mumbai. mumbai mumbai what is who is the chairman madhvi puri buch madhvi puri madhvi puri buch good very good what are the functions of sebi this will be asked for mba people and the mcom people not for others um so what are the primary function? and secondary market okay 
to regulate then, stock market very good then they also issue mutual fund licenses they issue um, chit fund licenses and they are supposed to be monitoring the interest of the investors could you follow they yes, have sir. been formed for that yes, purpose sir. similarly irda i irda i uh, who is the chairman devashish panda correct where is the headquarters hyderabad sir hyderabad correct what are the functions of hyderabad i mean irda i what for regulating and licensing insurance sector taking okay. uh, having overview on insurance yeah and how many public life insurance companies are there 23 24 24 in including lic 24 and um, how many general insurance the number is varying somewhere 32 or 34 34 so, sir 34 yeah so these are the number of companies and all correct can you name the domestically systemic important banks dsib yeah. tell me sbi hbfc uh, hdfc icici and hdfc correct right. hdfc icici and our state bank of india correct in the case of insurance company domestically systemic important insurance company lic and new india assurance and gic general insurance corporation these three are the uh, domestically systemic important companies okay very good no they are asking this question Re, uh, what is the recently launched ai technology of federal bank smile pay smile, smile pay smile facial recognition what smile. is the benefit of smile pay payment using facial recognition very good correct right. then they ask this question what is fintech financial companies the, that are using technology uh, yes. can you name can you name a few in fintech companies paytm phone pay uh google pay amazon pay all these are our uh, bharat fintech pay. companies bharat pay acha maybe there is one like that good um for people who have been working in some company and they have left it they will invariably ask question why did you leave that job you have to tell some sufficient reasons for that and this question tell us about your strengths and weakness is also a very important question you must be prepared for that then i don't know why they are very fond of this question tell us a situation when you were in very deep trouble and came out of it successfully this is a very delicate question i don't know how to handle this um yeah, would anyone like to try his answer for this do you want follow what the question i asked tell yes, me sir. about a difficult situation you have had and how did you come over it um here only they are testing your confidence level are you willing to take up negative questions and answer them properly that's what they are trying to test so you must be able to give a satisfactory answer princi pandir can you try can you repeat the question sir a difficult situation you have had in your life and how did you come out of it so, so if your question should be professionally or it can be any uh, anything no it is for you personally it's a personal question hr question i think the most difficult situation in my life was when i took a, a gap 
uh, after my graduation it was very difficult for me to place in post graduation college because i want a government college i want to pursue my post graduation in geography but i couldn't find uh, myself fit for the du so i took a gap there so i think that was a most difficult situation for me to cope with my anxiety and stress and i was preparing for it so that Good. was the most difficult situation for me you you can tell like this whatever you are convinced you can tell um next question they are asking what are the criteria you will look for if someone comes to you for a home loan candidates please get ready to know about car loan gold loan home loan these three loans please go through the website and study the particulars now can who can answer me what are the criteria you will look for if you, somebody comes for home loan so first we can uh, see the civil score of the person and the monthly salary the two okay. criteria i can see okay and the valuation of the property does does it the valuation of the property match with the amount that is asking for or is it less than that correct then so are all the documents own. necessary related to the property available ah whether the uh, documents available correct documents are available for the property if needed we could ask collateral ah if needed collateral right then valuation you already told good i think you have covered almost all, all the points like um, his salary and whether he is eligible for the money good excellent not bad say the reverse is in the case of our car loan you will ask for pro forma invoice from the car distributor correct yeah this question also they are asking rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10 based on your overall knowledge communication <laughs> and banking please do not rate yourself less than 8 or 9 because if you rate yourself 5 6 7 and all that they will say you are not fit for our job do you get my point so you should tell at least 8 or 9 out of 10 please prepare your answers for such questions these questions are given in our question paper itself yeah um this question for any commerce or mcom mba people what is the income tax details up to what extent income tax is exempted beyond that what is the percentage of taxation that is 3 lakhs up to 3 lakhs exempted 3 to 7 7 to 10 10 to 12 12 to 15 15 and above some percentage is there you must go through that and do about it and for agriculture candidates the most uh, arabin the, the most important question will be what are the major crops in your region or in your district and what type of cultivation is being practiced say uh, irrigation facilities what crops are grown what are the problems faced how we will okay, help okay. the farmers this type of questions they will ask so sure, let's sure, sure. yeah now i think i yeah. we have covered almost all the important questions that they are asking nowadays whatever they have been asking nowadays these questions are all covered sufficient so what is black money <laughs> commerce graduates what is black money so that Hello. money of which tax is not paid to the government yeah or tax is not paid or is money earned through illegal means for example corruption then um, say money is received from abroad for ter terrorist activities these are known as um so those amounts will become black money of course the basic definition is where the interest is not paid why it is becoming illegal 
they have asked once like this why it's becoming illegal because the taxes have not been paid regulation. to the government pardon the regulations is, of those kind is, of transactions yeah. will be very hard for the government so they are excluding that category no no the money is becoming Ill black money because taxes have not been paid and it becomes illegal because um the government depends on the income tax and other revenues from the people for their welfare activities and once that is not received it will be affecting the government also next question are you willing to relocate to other parts of the country the immediate answer you give should be yes yes there is no other if this that suppose nothing should be told then sometimes they have asked this question what is meant by fishing big h i s h i n g fishing then money laundering what is fishing can you can anyone uh, describe that fishing definition sir it is a technique used by hackers to lure someone into a trap in india fishing is a fraud that is recognized as a cyber crime and attracts many provisions what is fishing law what example of fishing the objective of fishing is to steal sensitive information or data or infect a victim's machine with malicious software examples of such communication include sending fraudulent mails and messages on behalf of some bank in the hope of gaining credit card information i hope this this details i have given you in the material there is a material known as raju and 40 thieves that is a publication brought out by reserve bank of india please go through that also okay very good now next anything interesting comes sometimes they will ask questions about hobbies be ready for some active hobbies and related questions for example you say cooking they will ask which dish can you make well yeah, i am reading books they will ask you which type of books do you read which authors do you read like that so be ready for such questions then once or twice they have asked questions about what is the difference between neft and rtgs and i have given you the abbreviations please go through the abbreviations also for majority of us they will ask only the expansion neft rtgs neft there is no minimum rtgs minimum is 2 lakhs 2 lakhs in both there is no maximum limit prescribed in the case of neft it will be it is done in batches 48 batches per day 365 days it is being done whereas rtgs it is done um, it is instantaneous rtgs and i think there are some specified hours for that also please check up this point i am not sure about it whether rtgs yes, bank. banking hours na no? yes. rtgs are you sure about it yes sir acha acha i'm opening okay open. very good then they ask questions regarding upi what is upi normally i ask candidates to go through npci website thoroughly and this question is very famous for them how will you market the products of our bank so you should be knowing the details of any two deposit schemes any two loan schemes and try to talk about marketing them and earlier they were asking question how will you sell a pen how will you sell a water bottle how will you sell a blackboard and all but nowadays they are not asking i don't know why nowadays not much questions yeah very good 
So majority of the important questions we have covered now. Thank you so much. This was possible because one yoga class was cancelled for me. So I am here with you. Best wishes. Next meeting will be at 8 o'clock for some two, three candidates I have given for um, mock interview. Maybe I will be with them. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye, sir. Thank you, Bye. sir. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Stop Thank recording. You.